Okay, we're back. And I have my new canvas prepared. Have everything a little bit semi-cleaned. And we're going to do the same colors as I did just before this one. So the previous video, you'll see how I did the flip cup. I had it on a banding wheel. This time we're going to pour straight out of the cup. Let me get a cup. And I'm not going to be adding um, any extra silicone or whatever. I am going to be doing the same. Um, there's a lot of little things going on in, the, in that paint. I don't know how that happened. So we're going to be using the, exactly the same colors. This one from up high because I want it to mix right through. And the last one is the blue, which we're going to add from up high also, because we want it to be all through the painting. That's it. This time I am going to give it a little stir. So we're going to stir it just a little bit like that. And we're going to pour it straight onto the uh, to the canvas. But like I said, you do want a little bit of speed in the paint. There it is. And as you can see, I'm not totally happy with it. I like the uh, flip cups a lot more because it gives you a lot more, um, I don't know, just more definition in your paint, I guess. So we might be adding um, something to this one. Not sure yet. Oh, I would like a little bit of cells right down here because they look kind of juicy. There you go. Couple more. So first I'm going to let it come over the side there. Then I'm going to let it come over the side here and pull it back because I want those nice big cells. I do like what's happening here. Then I'm going to let it run down here and run down this corner. Sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it takes a little time. So give it a little time to go over the side and there it is. So this one is well, sort of growing on me because I do like what's going on down here. And this is more, um, more calm and, and has some different sort of look and feel to it and there's more going on down here so I'd hang it up like this because I sort of like it but what we do have to do is match the color and do the corners here I have some more brown in it there you go and I'm telling you you can't even see that I've done that because as long as you take your palette knife and you pick out the piece of uh, paint that matches with what you want to fill up, you're, you're good to go. There's no way anyone's going to see that you've done that later after the pour. So I'm giving it a little clean up on the bottom. Okay. I do like this though, and I'm, I'm going to try and let it move down a little bit. It is moving. Now we have it a little bit bigger. See that? So that's nice. I like this. I like what's happening here. This not so much, but sometimes you need a little bit of calm in your painting where you can see here's stuff going on, here's stuff going on, and this is calm. And that's, that's okay. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow and that's it. But if you don't like it, like I said before, what you can do is come in with a little cup and I'm, I'm going to do that anyway. So because I, I can talk about it, but it's easier when I show you what I mean. So we're going to put in a little bit of that lighter color because I'm going to go right through the middle here and I'm going to put in a little bit of that 
Naples Yellow Pure. And I'm going to put in, I'm not going to use the blue because there's enough blue in the painting as is. So I'm just going to use the other colors. I'm going to give a little swirl in that cup. Let's see that we get that other color on top. That's right. And I'm going to come straight down the middle. There we go. One. That's it. Now, as you could see, I always start pouring next to the canvas so that when that paint comes flowing out, you can make one continuous ribbon right across the uh, canvas. Now, I'm going to move it a little because I do want it to move. See that? That makes it so much more interesting. And I am going to give it a torch because I want it to have some really awesome cells. Now I didn't torch it all the way but that was for me it was interesting and this bit and I didn't torch that so sometimes you want a lot sometimes you want less but as you can see you have a sort of a divider and that's it. Now if you're still not happy with this that you made what you made you can always do more to it and I'm thinking about the little comb if I were to just pull it out like that see that gives something really interesting to the uh, to the cells now if you want to do it again you'll have to make sure that the comb is um, clean and we could do another one down here and that way it resembles some sort of a, maybe an animal something like a fish thing or just a pattern who knows it's all up to you whatever you like that's okay with me <laughs> but I really like what's happening here uh, I'll give you a close-up let me see there it is see how that what that does to the uh, to the cells and it, that is really nice there it is so that is a really beautiful piece I really like it now well, maybe I would like a couple of things coming out of here. You know, when, when I do this, I just let, let the picture, the image that I have before me, just, you know, come in. I don't know how to say it, but then all of a sudden I'm thinking, eh, I want something here too. I want like there's something growing out of that. Not too much though, just a little. Just to get that back. And you can almost not see it, but I know it's there, and that's satisfying to me, so that's it. Now, I'm going to come in one more time with my torch. And we all know why that is. That's to burst those last little air bubbles. And there will be a few more, and if you want to be really precise, then uh, after about 20 minutes, you come back with your torch, you do it one more time, but you have to be, you have to do it really quick, like I'll show you. Um, it's about that far, and I just come down on it like that. And that's really enough to uh, burst the little bubbles. They're all, all burst by now. So... In about 20 minutes, you could come back and do it again because there'll be a, a few other new bubbles coming to the top. But other than that, it's ready. That's it. And I'm really, really liking the colors, like I said, because um, I've, I've not poured with these colors before. So right now, I'm going to be scooping up some, making sure I get that lighter color in there also. And I still have some in my cup. So I'm going to be pouring a little on, like that. Some on the side. Maybe a little more blue. And make a little, you know, you have to put it over the paper a little bit more. You don't have to cover the whole paper, but a little bit, you know, will really help. Let me wipe that clean. Now with a semi-clean uh, pellet knife, I'm going to come right through it. 
And those colors are beautiful. I love them. I bet a ring pour with these colors would look awesome too. Now this is uh, gorgeous. I love this. Look at that. Can you imagine making a pendant out of this middle bit? I'll get in real close. Wait a minute. Is that in focus? Yes, it is. Look at that. Even this on the side, this green bit, that would look awesome, but this is beautiful. I really like that middle bit where a little bit of that blue is coming through, but the blue is mixed a little bit with the, uh, with the green. So th it, it's not as bright and vibrant as, as the pores are, but you can s still see blue coming through. That is beautiful. We're keeping this one. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to come in with fresh paint. So I'm going to put a little bit of that lighter Naples yellow, a little bit of the darker Naples, the one that isn't mixed, then a really nice bit of that burnt umber, and as last we're going to put in that blue. And really now I really want turquoise because I think turquoise is going to look awesome in this. I think I won't mix it because that's going to take too long and then you're all going to say get on with it just paint lady so I'm going to put in in this cup uh, it's deep turquoise this is the color deep turquoise the color number is 232 and it is an opaque color as you can see here Then I'm going to add some titanium white. That's about enough. Gotta get all the bottles. Everything is covered in paint, everything I have. Okay, what we do is, first off, I add the pouring medium. That's about 30%. Then I put in a little PV, PVA mix. That's my own mix. That's about 10%. Then I put in the polymer medium. And it is already stuffed up again. Happens a lot. But just put something in there, something sharp, and you can make it open it up again just a little bit a little squeeze of the bottle then we're gonna mix that up and this is a really pretty light turquoise see that that is pretty now when it's smooth I add my water and I'm stirring like a mad woman I know, but I don't want to make this too long. And it's on paper, so you won't have that much trouble with the air bubbles. That is looking good. Now I'm going to add the silicone. 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 Stirring it up. Let's see. Nope, too thick. A little bit of water. The thing is that if you add your silicone and after that you add, uh, you have to add some more water, then your silicone is going to get really smushed in there. So, uh, but that doesn't matter because the other paint has a silicone also. Okay. Using the dirty stick doesn't matter because it's all the same. But we're going to stir it up. Get the little bit of 
photo paper. And letting it all come out. I really like that. That is really awesome. I do want to torch it straight away because I'd like some a little bit bigger of oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. I really like that. But I want to keep a lot of it. Oh boy. I think I have to make a picture of this because this could be some really, really cool print. That is beautiful right there. I'll give you a close up. See that? How beautiful that is. Oh, I don't want to do anything to it. That is, this is just too pretty. Let me just pour it down a little so this gets bigger. I'm going to keep it just like that. That out of there, that pendant thing, that's going to be awesome. Oops, sorry. There it is. I'm going to keep it. Okay, got to do one more. Sorry about that, but got to do it. So we had that really beautiful turquoise color. Going to put in that lighter Naples again. Then the normal Naples. And I'm out, almost out of this color. The burnt sienna. But we have to have it in there because it looks so good. And the blue. And we're going to give it a little mix. But I also want a little bit more. Nah, let's just pour it. Look how that looks. That is delicious. Wow, I love those colors. This is, uh, for me, right now, it's more appealing than the greens and the blues because, I don't know, it's, I think it's about what for sort of um, frame of mind you're in. If, you're, if you start liking something better than you did before. Come on, people, tell me what you think. Because this is, for for jewelry, this is the bomb. I'm going to be using these for the giveaway, I promise. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. But I would like to keep... See, this I'd throw away. But this this bit here, this side bit, this is what I'd like to put in a, uh, in a pendant. That is awesome. Make it a little bit bigger. See that? That is pretty, isn't it? Let me get you really in close. But what you, what you have to do is just look at the part where you think, yeah, that is really awesome. I'll, sh I'll point out wh what I look for. Let me get you in focus first. Okay. Now, I'd avoid this because there are, see these little patches in there? I don't like those. So I'd avoid that. But this, this whole bit here with the vein and, and all these beautiful burnt sienna cells and then turning white, that, that's what I'd use. Now, if you have a little pendant, I would even use this bit here. Being the oval, the top would be the blue. And then here, this would be in the middle and this would be on the bottom. I would cut it out like that, if you know what I mean. But this one for me, this bit here, that is the ultimate piece of this uh, pour. And sometimes it's just a little bit. Sometimes you can get two or three pendants out of one of these. But they cost almost nothing. And this is paint that I would normally throw away. So who cares? Okay, just one more. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, but every time I say that, I can hear you sitting there saying, Yeah, right, Anne-Marie. We know you by now. Yes, right. One more. Well, I'm getting ready for three more because I, I know you so well. Yeah. So that's that. And then the turquoise. The turquoise really does it for me. And then this color. I don't know why, but that really does it. But this one also. <laughs> I am really weird today. Okay. Giving a, a little swoosh. This time, let's do a, a squish. Yeah. Let's see what squishing does to this. This all by itself is awesome. Awesome. Now I almost don't want to squish it. Because this is pretty, isn't it? Almost no cells, but still pretty. What if I just torch a little bit down here? Nah, let's squish it. I do like that though. Okay, here we have the paint. We're putting an, another one on top. And of course you want to press it down that some of the paint's going to come out. And then open. And I'm taking this one first because it has a little bit more color. It's a little bit more of a, um, a chaotic sort of a pattern. You can see the difference with squishing and just doing the palette knife, the, the swipe. It's a little bit more chaotic, but okay, we'll, uh, we'll see how it dries, right? Now here, I don't want another one of those because like I said, I don't really like it that much. So I'm just adding a little bit more paint and getting my palette knife clean you do want a clean palette knife before you do this swiping it over and this time i'm going to add a little bit down here just to connect the, the two swipe that down there This time, really, really slow torching. Not that interesting because there's, for my taste, there's not enough um, uh, of that sienna coming through. But I would like maybe that little bit, that bit up there. And for people that really like lighter colors, let me get you in focus. See, this is pretty. It's not like it's ugly, but now I'm sort of um, really liking that sienna, so that's why I'm not looking at this. Normally I'd love this, so I shouldn't be nagging, so. And because I still have some in the little cup with a lot of that sienna, I am going to use it. So we're going to put it on here. Make it come out. I'm going to put it on the cup for just a bit because I want to scrape out the rest of the color. That's it. That's all of it. Okay, let's come down here.
there it is. That's it. No more than that because I don't have any of that left. So <laughs> that makes it easy. But as you can see, all of a sudden, if you don't have that really beautiful turquoise popping through, that it's much more earth toned. So choosing the right colors is very important too. You know, just sometimes you just want to sit down, get your paint, get a brush and just make those swatches. And I'll show you how I do that. Now, if I were to be um, choosing new colors for a really big piece or something like that, you know, you don't want to just guess colors. So what I do is take some, put them on there, put that color next to it, put that color next to it, that one, and that one. Now, when you have something like this, you can imagine how it's going to look because, you know, you see them together. You can imagine the cells and the popping through of colors. So before you do all the, you know, you've seen me in the, in the, in the past, you've seen me uh, mix up colors and sometimes not use one color because while I'm put the, putting them together in the cup, all of a sudden I'm thinking, nah, I don't like that color. So don't be shy or afraid to lose a color if you don't like it when you're um, ready to pour. Sometimes you just don't want that color in there. But if you do this on forehand, you're pretty um, sure that you're going to get something you really like because here you can determine how they're going to reflect on each other. Uh, in this one, I would absolutely lose this color. I would just keep the turquoise in or lose the turquoise and leave that one in. I wouldn't put those two blues together. But always remember that when you're using colors in a flip cup, because of the way uh, the colors interact with each other, if I were to pour this, maybe one of these two blues won't, you know, ch uh, turn up because they will be um, mixed with other colors and they might just not even turn up like that. So a little tiny mini pour just before uh, you do a big piece, that is no luxury. I would absolutely recommend you doing that. Okay, guys, I'm going to clean up this uh, fantastic mess I made. Uh, I'm going to pop these two videos on uh, YouTube. Um, I will be pouring some more. And uh, I'm thinking about, well, there's something really exciting coming up. Um, Eli Chim, um, the makers of Mastercast Resin, they have some special um, mica, sort of mica pigment. Uh, but it's a really special sort for in resin and as we speak it's on its way here I get four little samples to test and uh, I still have resin so that's what I, I was going to do that this weekend but like I said it, it'll be here on Monday so I'm going to be pouring another resin on glass with these really special uh, pigments that are specially made for in the resin so I'm hoping that they're going to give us all sorts of beautiful effects. I'm looking for cells, I'm looking for, for lace, I'm looking for anything that really makes a resin piece pop, right? So you, whatever happens, that's what we're doing next week. So um, I'm going to clean this all up. I might do a resin piece because I have a lot of glass, so I might do another resin piece tomorrow. Uh, I think I might because I'm sort of, you know, pulled back into resin. All of a sudden I like it again. There was a time when I didn't like it because it's too sticky and too yucky. But if you really prepare your surface that you can, you know, fold it all up and throw it away, it's okay. So we're going to do that tomorrow. So love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. And hoffe jullie allemaal. See you in the next video. Love you. Bye bye.